now I'm working on a 2016 Ram. We have the uh, washer fluid system is clogged up due to mixing of two different types of washer fluid. It created a chemical reaction and created a gel type solution in the washer fluid system. So I'm gonna pull out the components and we're gonna flush it out. So that way we can uh, get the washer, windshield wiper washer fluid system working again. So underneath the hood here, let me get this hood open. We've got our bottle here. The hose comes off the bottom of the bottle, comes around and wraps underneath the fender, connects back here to our motor, and then comes up into the hood underneath the mat of the hood. So we're gonna have to one strip back this cover here in order to get access to remove the bottle and clean that out as well as uh, get down this uh, uh, hood mat in order to get access to the lines for the uh, little spouts, the sprayers, so we can get those cleaned out as well. So give me a minute, let me get this first opened up. We gotta remove a couple of these little connectors here and uh, that way we can get more access to the bottle. So in order to gain access to the bottle, I had to remove the front nose of the truck. So I peeled back that whole top layer cover. And then there's one, two, three, and four bolts. They're all 10 millimeters. And there was a uh, 10 millimeter bolt right here for the top of the water bottle. And then there was another 10 millimeter one underneath the truck to get access to it. And then uh, there is a connector here at the bottom of the water bottle and we've got that one disconnected and there's another one back here at the back that is very tight and difficult to get to. So I'm working on that one. And as soon as we get this uh, connector out, then we can start uh, cleaning out the water bottle part and then flushing the rest of the hose system. So we've got the uh, windshield wiper fluid bottle, water bottle container out. The uh, connector. To remove it, you just put a flathead screwdriver and push this red button upwards and it pops right out. And then our hose is contained and wrapped up with this connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little bit of compressed air through this hose as well as I've disconnected the hose here that goes up into the, the, the hood and the sprayer nozzles. I disconnected it from this connector right here. Then I'm gonna run some compressed air through that as well. And then what I'll do is I'll hook the hoses back up and I've got a bottle of water here and we'll see if the uh, system can pump some water up through and uh, spray through the, uh, the nozzles on the hood. So I pulled the uh, water bottle fluid container out again and I removed the motor. And at the bottom of the motor, there's this white grommet and it's actually a filter and there's our cause. All of that gelled up around that filter. So I'm going to see if I can clean this off. If not, I might have to go and get another one to replace it. All right, so I tried cleaning up the little filter. Oh, they call it a washer pump grommet. Uh, I tried washing it up, but it just seemed clogged and the gel was just, just not really coming out of it. So went down to the auto parts store, got me a new one. The Dorman line, it's uh, part number 49459. And uh, that's going to go into the bottom here of this uh, tank. And then on top of that goes the uh, pump. So let me get those two installed and show you what it looks like. Okay, you got the uh, little grommet connected back in and our uh, washer pump motor back installed into the tank. 
Let me get this uh, installed into the truck and show you where we go from there. All right, here's our bolt at the bottom of the washer fluid tank. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. That's where it's located at. There we go, there's a good picture of it. Accessible underneath the truck. So just wanted to give you a picture of that, where that bolt is actually located at. So I'm gonna get that one zipped in and then the other one zipped in and uh, we'll get the uh, grill pop back in. So at the bottom of the grill, we have two clips that need to get popped in. And then at the top, we have one, two, three, four bolts. They're all 10 millimeter. The long ones that are like screws go on the outside. The more finely threaded ones go on the inside. So let me get these sent down. So our grill's back in place, nice and solid. Let me grab the uh, cover. Lines up like this. And our big clips here are gonna go on the ends of the radiator tabs. Line those up, and then there's on the corner here, there's tabs. You can fit that right in there. Tab there, there, and there. Oh, take, get my screwdriver out the way. There we go, and our uh, cover's all in. So let me get some uh, washer fluid in this and we'll test the system. All right, we got it filled back up and there it goes. It's spraying all over the windshield. So that's a fix. Yeah, there we go. That's good. So lesson learned, don't mix your windshield wiper fluids or else it's gonna gel up and you're gonna have to take apart the system, blow out the lines and replace that little uh, filter grommet.